This week on MH News, we're reviewing the Magnus VT3000 video tripod. Welcome to MH News. I'm your host, Matt Haslam, and this week, like I said, we're, we're reviewing the Magnus VT3000 video tripod with fluid, fluid head, and we're also comparing it to uh, the kind of cheapo version of what we had before, which is a Targus TGT BK58T tripod. Uh, this is without a fluid head. So basically a tripod that costs $40 compared to one that costs $130 from B&H. Um, so let's get started. Basically, this tripod is really well built, but before we get to that one, we're going to talk about this one because we're going to be comparing back and forth um, the entire episode here. So, first off with this one, uh, they advertise that it's 58 inches high, and they also advertise this one, the Magnus, is 60 inches high, and you might be saying to yourself, well, basically I'm paying $100 more for two more inches, and that's not true. Um, truth is, with this one, the 58 inches only counts when you start raising this up. And as you raise it up, it gets less and less stable. Now, the only way it's stable is way down here, and this is nowhere near 58 inches. Um, and even then, it's not very stable because it's really lightweight camera rig. Only made for, I think, you know, this still photography for like family photos and stuff like that nowhere near the quality for video or for professional still photography so if that's what you're looking at then don't buy this one at walmart um now this one has a, a lock on it so you can lock your uh, feet in place but the only real real way to level it off is actually to take one of these legs and push it down and suddenly now you're not getting the full 58 inches out of it. Um, it also has a hook here on the bottom. I think it's for strapping onto your belt or something like that. But what we've always used it for is for like a sandbag because this is not uh, very heavy and it's not very good at keeping itself steady for anything, even inside inside of a studio or something like that where it's not really windy. Still, we need a sandbag on it just to keep it uh, sturdy. For the shot. Now the only thing that this one has that this one doesn't have is first off this handle. This one doesn't have a handle but believe me we're going to talk about that in a second. Um, this one has the handle and it's plastic so it's very easy to break. Yeah, Most of this is plastic so you have to keep that in mind. It has a pan and tilt on it so tilt up and down, pan left and right, but it also has this third one which you can unlock and go from like a landscape shot to more of a portrait shot really fast with a quick release plate on it so there's that but um so that is easier going from the portrait to the landscape and back and forth and stuff like that if you're doing still photography but this is all plastic this quick release plate um it has like a screw in here but um still in all it makes me very nervous so most I've ever put on put a, on this thing is my GoPro. Um, I put my Canon T5i on it, but I don't feel safe with that on here, uh, especially for all the stuff I put on the DSLR before I start using it. So um, still not a very steady shot, and I don't feel safe because it is all plastic. So now on to the Magnus VT3000. What are the differences? Well, you're gonna notice a big difference when I first thought about a video tripod uh, specifically with a fluid head um, what I was shocked by was you know I thought fluid head a lot of people were talking about them online and I said to myself you know do I really need a fluid head is it that much better and holy crap the first day it was so much better um, so there's the shock factor in how much better your shot is just because of the fluid head um, on this you can go up to the full 60 inches. Matter of fact, right now we're at um, full extension on the first two levels, but the third level is about three quarters of the way down, so it's really, it's 
really short right now to, compared to what it could be um, that I'm sitting on a chair right now so um, just do the MH News thing so it can go a lot higher than this but in case you needed to go high and stuff like that it allows you to level your shot to a certain extent with the fluid head here um, and that with the level here by the way that way if you're on like an uneven surface or if you're beside a hill or something like that you can adjust this down here before you put your camera on just to make sure everything's level um, without adjusting your legs now if you're on a steep hill or something like that then you're gonna need to adjust your legs but for the most part I've never had to do that um, level it back up here now if you were at full extension 60 inches high what I like about it is this arm here we can take it and adjust it down so that way I can control it from further down if I wanted to um, however that does give you a little bit of less leeway with the legs here um, that's the only disadvantage that I've seen with that um, again we're gonna put that back now it has really solid locks on the pan and tilt that way you know, if you don't want to pan or tilt it you can always just lock it down and it prevents the camera from doing that um, but I think one of the greatest things I love about this tripod is the fact that the quick release plate is all steel it's very uh, safe for your camera to be put on so I'm very comfortable putting my one or two thousand dollar cameras on it um, so I can just and if I ever wanted to take off the camera, I need to unlock it up here and then push it back and then there's a little button here that you press before you can take it out. Now, it also has channel in there so that way I can adjust things later on. But once I have the camera in, and if, let's just say for instance, I forget to lock it down one day, um, if I push it forward, the most this is going to do is go right there and my camera is still safe it's not going to fall out and hit the ground um, so i feel very comfortable putting my cameras on here but then if i never needed to i can also adjust my camera focus a little bit with this too and I, all i have to do is turn this knob here and it pushes that whole cart almost forward or back that way i can adjust my camera focus a little bit and tweak it without actually touching the lens which is good when I'm doing an uh, interview or something like that um, and you don't want to touch the camera because you're going to shake the camera so what I'll do is I'll just take it up here and adjust a little bit here not very much at all but that uh, makes the focus go back in so that's much better for it without actually touching the camera itself but I think the next thing I love about this and possibly the best is the fact that it is weighted um, this thing is 9.67 pounds, I believe. Um, I might be wrong on that, but somewhere around there. Um, so it is heavy, and matter of fact, that's the only complaint I found about this tripod before I bought it, was the fact that people were saying, you know, it's really heavy. Truth is, when you're talking about tripods of this quality, you're going to be getting a lot more weight into it than you're used to. You know, coming from this being maybe two, three pounds to this being nine, sure, there's going to be that difference. And for the most part, people that buy the $100 range tripods with fluid heads are coming from a background of a $40 Walmart one or something like that. So, yeah, you're going to see a difference. But uh, for the most part, I wanted a heavy tripod. Not only do I get the enjoyment of seeing my crew carry around heavy equipment, um, which I love, but... Um, I know that's oddly weird, but uh, for the most part, when I'm doing a shoot by myself, and I do a lot of shoots by myself nowadays, I'm the one carrying it, so I'm the only one that's going to mind. But for, for the most part, I like the weight because not only in studio do I not have to, I don't have to carry around a sandbag everywhere I go to weight it down, like I do with this one, with the Targus, but I'm able to just take it, and if I'm out someplace, out in... Uh, the wilderness, wilderness or something like that there's also spikes on this thing um, so I can just screw up the rubber feet that I have on it that come with it for like in studio use or I can screw them up and there's spikes on this so I can just dig this tripod into the ground and 
I know that it's sturdy, and I know I can just leave it and uh, shoot whatever I need to and, you know, go over here and do something else while my camera's on this. I feel very safe with it. Um, so the main thing about this being heavy is the safety, but it's also the fact that, you know, this thing gets a really smooth shot and it's not lightweight, so you're not gonna have it shaking around in the wind too much. But for the most part, it's a great camera tripod. Uh, there's nothing really I found bad about it. I read somewhere that it doesn't handle that well in cold conditions, but I took it out at 4 o'clock in the morning one day uh, when it was snowing, and it was really bad weather. It was like mm, in the 20s or something like that, 20 degrees out. So um, it really handles well. I was shocked that the fluid head works fantastic even in the cold weather conditions. So um, and you're going to see a shot or two from that in just a moment here. Uh, but it handles really well both in studio and uh, outside and even during the cold weather and stuff like that. And a lot of the best shots you're going to find are when no other photographer wants to go out. If it's cold, if it's raining, or if it's snowing or something like that. Um, some of the best shot shots I've gotten this year have been when it was really cold out. So um, you want to go out during that, and this is a great tripod to do it with. So overall, great camera, great tr tripod. Uh, fluid head works amazing, so I very highly recommend it. Thank you guys for joining us here at MH News, and just as a reminder, um, you can also pick this up right now. Uh, it's Carousel Ride Album at Madhausen.com store. Get it now for Christmas. It's a great little uh, CD with 15 tracks on it, so make sure you pick up that. Thanks for joining us here at MH News. Join us next week, next Sunday, for a brand new episode. Thanks.